Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about making an XP bootable CD-ROM. Now, I don't think this is a permanent solution and you can run it forever because after 24 hours it will turn itself off or something like that. So, this isn't ideal for um, like actually using it as Windows XP uh, because what it's used for really is data recovery and uh, checking for viruses and things like that. So, if you've muffed up your Windows XP install, um, basically you can recover your software using this and also check for viruses if you can't access safe mode and things like that so it's a quite a useful piece of software if you can make the um, the DVD ROM because that's what we're going to be doing, we're going to be making a CD or a DVD now what you need for this is the uh, your original XP install disk because it will take files from that and then make your operating system out of that now uh, I'm going to be showing you the image once it's done I'm going to be putting it into a virtual machine here and just showing you what it's like when it starts up now it won't be able to access the hard drive in this virtual machine because I need a special driver for it um, which makes it run basically and it, it, I don't have um, a plug-in because um, it, Bart PE has uh, several plugins, we've got 537 here and you can run several things on this um, Bart PE uh, which Bart P is a uh, pre-installation environment, Bart's pre-installation here it says it here, pre-installed environment just allows you to run software uh, in, as a sort of a fail safe from Windows XP so you can take data off it, so you can see there's loads of things here that you can use for it but I need one that will allow me to run um, a VMware uh, hard disk in the environment but I can't seem to find it and they all seem to be old anyway so I've sort of given up with that and um, also uh, one thing to note is if you have a SATA hard drive, uh, which they're basically included in most new computers, um, you may struggle to get this running. If you have an option in your BIOS to enable IDE mode, um, then uh, it will run, it should run fine. But um, to make sure you see if you have got a, um, a SATA drive, check your device manager. So right click my computers, uh, my computer, click the hardware tab. And look for an IDE ATA ATAPI, or yours, yours might say disk drive or something like that. And uh, I have it here, and it says uh, uh, serial ATA. So I've got SATA storage controllers, and I have IDEs here because I've enabled IDE mode. So basically, that's what you need to do to be able to run this piece of software. So you need a couple of things you need to pass. Now, if you want to use, there uh, is a Windows Vista version. If you want to try and boot Windows Vista, uh, a live version of Windows Vista. You need to download the Windows Automated Installation Kit and it will be under AIK Tools, I think. But um, it's not BART, BART PE, it's uh, WinPE, which is a lot, I think, is a lot more difficult to use. So um, I think that's more into integrating your drivers into the CD, where this just runs off default drivers. So uh, you've seen the plugins, you've seen the Windows Vista version, and this is where you download the BART's pre installation environment. So, Let's start her up. I have a uh, ISO image. Now, if you don't know what an ISO image is, it's just a virtual image of a of a disk, um, a CD. So what I've done is I've taken my XP CD, I put it in the drive, and I've made an image of it as a file on my computer. And what I've then done is mounted it and put it into Drive J. This can be done through virtual machine software. I've used uh, either Power ISO or Magic ISO virtual CD. Now, um, basically, all this means is that it will speed up the process of making the disk, so you, you can watch it and you can see what it does. And when I go, when I go to run this, I'm going to be creating another ISO. So I'm not actually going to burn mine to disk. I'm going to make a CD image, so we can then run it in VMware, and again, it will be faster. So I'm going to run PE Builder, and you can see we've got a PE Builder box here. The source is Drive J, and as, as you see, that was my virtual drive here, so it doesn't have to read the actual. Uh, CD-ROM drive and uh, I'm not going to do anything with the custom folder output is going to be this, I think this is where it works with its temporary files and what you can then do is what you'll want to do is burn it to a CD, DVD and then you can choose your options here, you can use Starburn, devices, things like that um, but I'm making an ISO image so I can run it in VMware um, there is a plugins button, now this is where you add, add your plugins, configure them uh, you need to have like special things to run these, so it says like Earth and View. If I try and enable it, it says I need to have some exe files in the plugins directory and things like that. So um, you need to make sure you add your programs into here um, to enable some of these plugins and add your own. So 
This is mainly because uh, you need licenses to run them and things like that, and you need to edit them to make sure you can run certain pieces of software. But we're just going to run the default for the time being. So I've got the sources drive J, which is my virtual drive. I've got the output as bar P. I'm creating an ISO image, and we're just going to start. So build. A directory already exists. I've tried this before, so I'm just going to say yes. I'm going to agree. And you can see that it's now, it's firstly it's removing all the files I had previously. <laughs> and it's now making my drive so hopefully this shouldn't take too long what this will do is this will run this from your here we go it's running very very fast yours will run a little bit slower than this if it's taking files from the cd drive and eventually it will end up on my desktop next to this uh, original xp cd now uh, you won't be able to, I don't think you can do this with Windows Vista um, tr you could try if you want this PE builder but I don't think it works with it because they change the package managers or something or it makes it harder to do this sort of thing with it so as you can see I'm almost halfway already I'll just show you some of the plugins you can get while it's doing that um, you can have RAM disk oh yeah well what it runs it, it runs itself into a RAM disk so you, all your programs run from a, your RAM basically um, which the CD creates so you can run your tools uh, so it doesn't run off your actual hard drive in case it's corrupt or something like that and obviously you need the drivers for your hard drive if it's SATA which I've already said so <laughs> uh, other things large IDE patch I had a corrupted 250 gig hard drive after using WinPE this should fix, fix such errors so it might be worth going to this plugin page first before you make these CDs to make sure everything works so that's pretty much it there's so many things here to do, I can't really go through explaining them all. But um, make sure you get enough plugins and get them all working before you do it. So this is finished copying all those files. It's now done. So it's built, built the ISO image and there is my little ISO image, which is an image of a CD. Now I don't need to mount this because VMware runs straight off the ISO. So I'm just going to go to settings in my virtual machine. Go to CD-ROM, use ISO image and then do a pbuilder at ISO. So when I now start this virtual machine up, I need to get into the boot menu to start from CD. I apologise if the screen recorder doesn't follow me. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I've got to try and do this so I can. Right, oops. I've got to try and do this because the boot menu takes so is so quick. I need to manage to get this to. Oh no. Excuse my <laughs> my slow react. Here we go boot menu, sorry about that, my slow reactions, it runs so quickly. Alright, so now we're running off the CD-ROM drive. Now you notice that it shows you stuff is expecting your hardware configuration. This is because it runs a sort of, when you go to install Windows XP, it runs a sort of pre-installation environment, so it runs a little version of XP to install your drivers and things like that. So that was just doing the same thing. So here we have, it's showing the XP boot logo, and it's now lo loading up. got the classic blue here so I'm just going to show you it on first start obviously I can't show you it accessing my hard drive which you I think you'll have to do through DOS you see there's a BART PE thing here it's asked about network support so I suppose if you want to try and back your stuff up to your network or I'm not sure if it can access the internet probably not so I haven't enabled that and all I'm going to do hopefully the screen recorder will follow me there's a go button down here similar to the start and you can see we've got programs here oops try and get this working shall we Right, so programs, I've got WordPad and Calculator, Disk Copy, File Management, which I think is like Explorer, where you can then browse your files, but obviously I can't get to my um, my actual disk. Startup, Bart Stuff Test, Remote Desktop Connection, if you want to try and access another computer to try and copy your stuff across or something, and Drive Snapshot, which just uh, copies your entire hard drive, I think. So you've got Keyboard Layout, Display Storage, I think this is just for the installation environment command prompt uh, if you want a run in version and, if, and about your system so if I show you quickly file management utility and you can see there it looks a lot like Explorer where you can basically access your drive but you'll notice my C drive isn't there because it hasn't got the driver for my VMware drive so that's about it really this is how to get it bootable and uh, running it in a virtual machine so a couple of things to check so you might want to watch this again if you want to make sure you've got everything this is PE Builder if there's another uh, program that you know of that can do this sort of thing, then let me know. Um, if you like my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.